So today I'm talking about a Chevy or GMC P0700 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a Chevy or GMC P0700 code? Well, the onboard computer is seeing a malfunction with the vehicle's transmission control module called the TCM. And so it's going to be troubleshooted to know why. And some of the possible causes, well, it could be low or dirty transmission fluid. Uh, the wiring could have a problem. TCM itself could have failed. There, there might be a problem in the transmission, like a shift solenoid. It could be a faulty speed sensor. And in some cases, it could be a weak alternator this has been reported although not very common if the alternator is really weak for some reason not putting out enough voltage for the circuit and so the first thing you do when you get this code is to check and see if you have other codes because other codes will help point you to what the problem is going on so for example if you have like a p0747 code with this one then there's going to be a problem in the transmission with one of the solenoids what it's pointing to if you have a code like a u0100 then this is going to be more along the lines of in the wiring so if you do have other codes be sure to look at those because those will help guide you to what's going on with your particular Chevy or GMC. And the first thing is be sure to go check the transmission fluid since if it's low or if it's really dirty or anything like this then it could cause issues. So you want to go check that. Be sure that's at the proper level since low or dirty ATF can definitely cause problems. And if that all looks good you can go examine the TCM. It'll be located to the right inside the engine compartment right behind the battery and there's a wiring harness going to it and this harness can cause issues uh, especially with any bad connections, open shorts, anything like this it could cause problems so you could go through and look at it if you are getting other codes that point to this direction since this is a common problem is you got a bad wiring connection or something along these lines and one of these pins is just not making a good contact with the TCM so the next thing you go do you go look at the wiring be sure it's all plugged in good got good connections no open shorts anything like that because any issues there can definitely cause problems and another thing that could cause this problem again be sure to look at your other codes but it could be a speed sensor and there's different speed sensors on these transmissions you'll have one that's on the outside that you that many people replace it's up on the top of the transmission and they're fairly simple to replace since they're located on the outside but you also have input and output speed sensors located side of the transmission itself here's an output speed sensor and here's an input speed sensor and if any of these fail then they can cause an issue so if you're getting any codes on the speed sensors you could swap them out again the outside one this on the outside is fairly easy to swap out but the ones on the inside are, are harder since they're inside the transmission itself and one thing to mention that's been reported, although I've never seen this problem, is that people run into an issue with the alternator's gotten weak and it's not putting out the correct voltage to function right. So if you are running into a really hard problem, you might want to check the, the output of the alternator and be sure that it's correct, just to be sure, since there have been reports that the alternator is just weak and not putting out enough voltage for power of the circuit. So if you checked everything else, you check the transmission fluid, that looks good. You check the wiring, that all looks good. You check the speed sensors, you check the transmission like solenoids, everything, other things like this that could cause the problem, then it could be a bad transmission control module. And while these don't commonly fail, they can fail. So it could possibly possibly be a bad transmission control module. And so that's basically it. I just want to give a real quick brief overview of how you go about fixing a Chevy or GMC with the P0700 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.